Hello and welcome. We're going to talk today about how to create a banner in Canvas using PowerPoint. And this is one of my favorite tips to share with people. And you can really be creative. On the example that I have here, we have a banner that has some text and an icon. You can change the text, you can change the font and the colors and even the alignment and rotate the icons. You can really make it your own. And we're going to explore how to do that. And one thing that's notable about this banner here is that it's responsive. Meaning if I were to change the elements on the screen or adjust the width of the screen, then this banner adjusts with it. Even if I go down to like a cell phone mode, then the banner still looks good as opposed to using an image that just sits there. And sometimes that image might get cut off. And so we're going to hop over to PowerPoint and I'm using PowerPoint. You can use Keynote if you want or a myriad of other elements that conceptually I'm going to show you the basics. It doesn't have to be PowerPoint and then show you using code and divs and canvas how you can turn a simple image, a simple little graphic into a banner. So the first thing I am going to do is draw a rectangle and the size doesn't really matter. I'm going to take off the outline of the rectangle. I really don't want that outline. I just want a solid border and then I can adjust that. If you want, you can start typing. And so the banner that I have over there is, um, I called it module, module one. So let's make a module two banner and I can change the size of my font. You can also place a text box over this. If you want, I'm going to increase it a bit and maybe move it. I can center it or I can align it. Control R or Control L. And then I'm going to look for an icon because the other header had an icon. And so I want to do that. You can use whatever icon you want. I'm going to head over to insert and pictures. And if you have office 365, then you have access to these stock images and the stock images are great. You have all kinds of images that you can use high resolution. You have cut out people. If you wanted to add people, illustration stickers, I'm going to hop over here to icons and I'm going to just search for something school related. So I think I used the textbook before. And so this time maybe I'll use a, I could use a stack of books or even a lunch bag with an apple. And then I'll just adjust this so that it looks good. And I'm going to change the fill to something. I'm going to choose something off white or maybe even a light blue. I'm going to fill in the text color with that same light blue. And before I move on, I'm going to hop over to review and just check the accessibility. See, um, yeah, it's missing a title slide, but at least the contrast seems good. So I'm set there. I'll go ahead and adjust this and you really don't have to make this box um, too big and you'll be able to adjust it once you're in canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the box and the icon together and I'm going to group those together. So control G to group those. And now it's one image and don't worry if it doesn't look like it's long enough to be our banner. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to save it as a picture. So I'm going to name this, whatever you want, banner two. And now I have an image and a trick here is that once I have it saved, I'm actually going to open it up because sometimes, when PowerPoint saves images like these, they save them kind of weird. So I'm going to click on this crop and sure enough, it looks like there's some space dangling off and I just want to make sure that it ends with the blue edge right there. And I'll go ahead and save that. So now it looks good. We're going to hop over to canvas and let's put in another banner. I'll go ahead and replace the banner altogether. And now I'm going to insert, upload the image. I'll drag it and drop it. And I can change all these. I hold the rights to this. I'll submit it. All right, now it's huge. Now I have to determine how tall do I want the banner to be in terms of thickness? How thick do I want this banner to be? And I'm thinking maybe 75 pixels will be tall enough. Make sure that's locked and I'll click done. Now that's 75 pixels. And all we have to do is put in the rest of the fill, the color fill there. So I have a little tool that I use on my computer called instant eyedropper. And this allows me to go in and get the color for something that's on my screen. In this case, that number five, two, eight, two BB, that's the hex color. So I want to grab that code and now I'm going to hop in here and it's a paragraph by default. I want to replace this paragraph and put in some divs. So I'm going to put, a div and here's my image and then I'm going to close out the div. 
Alright, so far this is my banner. What I need to do now is I want this div to be 100% uh, wide. The thousand percent. So that way this div is going to span the entire width of the screen. It doesn't matter how wide the screen is, if it's a cell phone or a large projector or a computer monitor, it'll take up the entire width of the screen. Okay, now at this point the div is invisible, so I want to put some color in there. And I'm going to do that by typing in style equals quotation mark, and I'm going to put in some code that is called background-color colon, and then it's going to ask me for the color, and I'm going to grab this hex code that I just pulled. That color is the same color as the image that we have. So now we're saying this div is 100% wide, and it's this color, and it's going to be as tall as the image that's in it, which will be 75 pixels tall. So let's go ahead and save this and see what we have. Here's my banner, so I have my image right there, and then I have the div, which is 100% wide. And now I want to put this image maybe in the middle, and you don't have to put it in the middle. In fact, maybe I want it to the left, but it's really far off to the left. So let's go ahead and just give this image some padding. What I'm gonna do is, uh, let me isolate this, just so it's, it's clear what we're looking at. Uh, this right here is the image, and so I'm gonna put in a little bit of styling. All right, so there's the style, and the style that I want is, I want to put in a margin, but only a margin on the left. And I'll move that out, maybe, you can experiment, 50 pixels or so. So that should stick out 50 pixels, it's not going to have any margin on the top or the right or the bottom, but it has a little bit of margin on the left. Now let's play around with something else. I want to try and center this. So one way to center this would be to click on that, and go to the alignment and you can just align center. And honestly using the rich content editor to make that adjustment is just fine. If you want to know the code then we have a styling. So the margin on the left is auto, margin uh, it says display, block, margin right auto. You could also, it has margin left and margin right. If you wanted to uh, you could also just put margin auto. All the margins are the same. Make sure this display block is there, and when I save that, then it'll save, and it'll load up right in the center. And so what we have is a div, and this div it spans 100%, and it's blue, the same blue as the color that I used for the box, and that's why you don't see any edge, no border, because I took off the border in PowerPoint, and so now the div and the image, they run up nicely against each other. Something else I'll show you if we hop into the Rich Content Editor. I could soften up those corners in the div if I wanted to. So I have some CSS that I want to call out, and this is the CSS. It's class equals border space border dash trbl, so top, right, bottom, left, and saying I want a border on this div, and I want the border to be round. Let's see what that gives us. It's exactly the same thing, except for you can see that the corners are a little bit rounded. So if you want a softer touch for your banner, then you can go ahead and implement that. Now to recap, I'm going to head over to PowerPoint again, and I'm going to duplicate this, hold control on the keyboard, and I'm just going to make another one. So once you have this image, it's really easy to make another image. I can go ahead and say module three, I can replace this um, graphic. I'm going to click change graphic, and I'm going to change it from the stock images. We'll just search for another icon, and it could be anything. It could be this person who's scaling a mountain. Just for fun, we could click on this, go to Format Shape, and maybe get a different fill. Try out something a little different, and maybe for this fill, I'll go for uh, something that's a little more gray. All right, so now I have this image, and I would go ahead and save this image. I can name that Banner 3 if I wanted. Using my eyedropper tool, I'm going to go ahead and grab this code right here. So C0504D, and that's this color as opposed to the blue, or the light blue, or the gray. So I want to grab this color. Now I'm creating this video calling it banners in Canvas, but in reality it could also be content separators. I created another video that talks more in depth about variety of content separators using divs. And so this tutorial is very much in line with what I talked about previously. And so I'm going to go ahead and put in that image. I'll drop the image into Canvas, and I do have the rights to that. I'll go ahead and submit it. And if I recall, the other image was about 75 pixels tall, so I'm going to make this 75 pixels tall just for the sake of continuity. You want to make this decorative text. I should do that with the other one as well, just because it doesn't really matter. Or you can call it 
something like module to banner to help out the screen readers. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and copy, copy the div that I have previously. I'm going to replace this paragraph with that div and let me go ahead and close out the div. And then what I want to do is change this code, this hex code to the new one that I copied. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. So it should have round borders. It should have a, a red thing. Oh, let me make this style. I'm going to copy the style over there so it can be centered. And for that, I'm going to copy that and paste it into the image tag as opposed to the div. So let's hit save and see what we have. Here are my two banners. So I have the module, module two, module three with the red and it looks seamless. And let's test out the responsiveness. So I'm going to drag this down and we're going to play with the width. And that's pretty awesome. And again, you can change the font color, the font size, the family, the images, the colors of the images, the colors of the squares that you use. You can style it for your institutional branding, or you can create your own color scheme and branding that's unique for your class, or even one module can have specific branding and another one can be distinguished by the colors that you use. So be creative with that. Check out our blog on our companion website, as well as our social media. And I really appreciate all of my subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe, get notified when new content comes out. And I hope you continue to join me as we explore further functionality and design in Canvas. Everyone, happy teaching and learning.